all right ladies and gentlemen the youtube citizens y'all know who this is this is your boy dash the true and fun oh. <laughs> and this is another throwback tunes on another thursday yes so today uh black history month is almost over but we got another throwback tune since today is Thursday, and we are reviewing Prince of the City 2 by Wiz Khalifa. So yes, this is the first anything mixtape album, anything that I review, a uh, mix uh, Wiz Khalifa rather that I review on throwback tunes, and we're gonna be stuck on Wiz Khalifa for a good minute. I will admit, I will admit to you guys, we will be stuck on that Wiz Khalifa for a good minute. So why am I reviewing Prince of the City 2? Well, here's why. Uh, back then, what got me hooked or, or aware of Wiz Khalifa was Prince of the City 2. My, um, my boy, worked with Wembley, he the one who actually discovered Wiz Khalifa. I believe it was this mixtape where he discovered Wiz Khalifa. And he shared it with the rest of us, you know, the rest of my day one bros. And I listened to it, and yeah, I instantly, you know, fell in love with his music. And, you know, I've been trying to stay up to beat or stay up to speed with Wiz Khalifa music back then. So, Prince of the City 2 was, to me, was the mixtape that really put him on the map. Even though he already came out with two prior mixtapes. Obviously, if there's a Prince of the City 2, then yeah, there's a Prince of the City 1, which was his first ever mixtape. And he actually came out with a studio album called Show and Prove. So, during that time, Wiz was signed to Warner Brothers Records, and he was with Rostrum Records as well. Now, in regards to Prince of the City 2, the executive producers were Benji Grindberg, who, remember, says correctly, I think he either he was the president or the CEO of Wolfstrom Records, and the producers involved were ID Lab, uh, Johnny Giuliano, and Sledgen. So, yeah, there you go with that. And looking at this, there's 20 tracks on this album. Obviously, you got the intro, which is the only skin on here, so I can give you guys the top five and not a top what is it? Top three. Also, I want to point out that uh, Big Jum and L not Lavish, but eight. Is that six? No, six figures were also involved with the production of this album as well. So this joint, I forgot to mention this actually. This joint came out November 20th, 2007. So, wow, that's a long time ago. And then you can, we can throw Taylor Game as a label that was involved with this mixtape as well. So because this is a mixtape, there was no singles here. However, to some degree, two of the songs that was used in this mixtape were used in his second studio album, Deal or No Deal, which came out November 24th, 2009. And we'll talk about those two songs in a second. So, let's get on with the song, shall we? So the first song, like I said, is called Intro. And then after that, we got Got, G-O-D, Got to Damn Love It, followed by Go On Hate. Track number four is called Should I Feel Bad, followed by Getting It, without the second G you're getting. Track number six is called Be Easy, which is a classic, followed by Poppin' Rubber Bands, there's no G in Poppin'. Track number eight is called Got What You Need, featuring Lavish. Track number nine is called Shake Em Off, E-M, obviously, Shake Em Off. And then track number 10 is called Head to the Sky, featuring Kev the Hustler, followed by Gotta Get It, G-O-T-T-A, Gotta Get It, which is another uh, classic. Next up is Talk To Ya, featuring Kev the Hustler, followed by Chevy Remix, and track number 14 is called Gone, followed by Buzz Down. Next up is Smoking, without the G. Smoking Good, followed by Who I Am. Track number 18 is called Time Goes By. Track number 19 is called I Own It. And then the last track off this mixtape is called I Still Remember. So, yeah, there you go with that. Now, the two songs that was used to some degree from this mixtape on to his Deal No Deal album were... Uh, what's the other one? Obviously, we got Chewy. So the I'm assuming this is the original Chewy that we're using Deal No Deal. And like I said, the Chewy remix was a part of Prince of the City 2. And the other song is Who I Am. So that song was also used on the Deal or No Deal No Deal album. Excuse me. Again, that came out November 24, 2009. All right. So with all that info out the way, and I believe there was no other info involving this. Uh, mixtape yeah i basically cover everything i want to cover yeah all right so let's me show you with you guys what i think are the best tracks off this album from or mixtape rather from us first so here's where things get interesting getting it even though the beat is cool the snare is okay i probably would have different snare but overall the beat is cool so i like it this is the worst track off this album 
only by comparison. I'm not saying the track is garbage. Is track? No, no. The beat is cool. The track is cool. But in comparison to every other track on here, this is the worst track off the album, just by comparison only. So you know this is going to be a good mixtape right here. I mean, you know, right now, this is going to be a good mixtape right here. How good? Well, you're about to find out. Next up is Poppin' Rubber Bands. You know, the beat is cool. I like the drums here, so, you know, it's a cool beat. Next up is Bust Down. Again, the beat is cool. And in this case, the drums really made this beat. You know, the drums really made this beat. Then we got Shake Em Off. You know, we got a unique drums here, so I like that. The melody was cool here. The beat was cool overall. Now, everything else that I'm about to name are really good or above. I own it. The drums are really cool with the melody here, so I really like that joint. Got what you need. The drums made this beat, which are really good. The melody was still cool, though, nevertheless, but the beat was really good. Time goes by. This is a semi-mellow track. Like the drums here and the melody, obviously. Really good track right here. Smoking good. This beat is hard, man. And if they would have added a harder snare alongside with the claps that they use here, would have made it so much harder. Probably would have cracked my top five. Maybe. I don't know. The melody is on point here, and the beat is really good. Gone. That track is dope as well. You know, the drums really made this beat. The melody was cool, though, nevertheless. The beat is really good. Head to the Sky. You know, I like the melody. The beat is really good, and I like the drums used here. Got damn love it. Semi-hype joint. Really good. Really like that one. Should I, be, ah, should I feel bad? I really like the sample use here. You know, really good track. And the drums are good here as well. And then I still remember, like, I, like, this is the irony of this, uh, the name of this uh, track. I still remember. Because I completely forgot about this track. This is a dope track right here. Really like the drums and the melody. A semi-mellow track. Really, really dope. And then Be Easy, which is a classic. Like, if you follow Wiz Khalifa for a long time, you should know about Be Easy. This is a classic. Really hard track. Really like the melody. Really like the drums. But it's the sixth best track off this mixtape. So, I'm about to give you guys my five top tracks off this album. Fifth best track off this mixtape, rather. Fifth best track off this mixtape is Go On Hate. Excellent beat. The melody is dope. Really like the drums here. And this would sound really good if it would perform live. Like I, I have been to a Wiz Khalifa concert before. He haven't he didn't perform this song there. But you know, it would have been dope as heavy he did, man. Fourth best track off this mixtape is Talk to You featuring Kev the Hustler. I like the like now let me explain something to you guys real quick. The top four tracks off this uh, mixtape, I listen to to this day. And this joint came out back in 2007. So <laughs> that tells you how good these tracks are, these uh, next four. So talk to you. Really like the melody and the drums. And this is a chill beat, man. Really like this joint. The best track off this mixtape, gotta get it. The beat is smooth. I still, again, listen to this to this very day. Really like the melody and the drums. But I will be honest, even though this is smooth and I really like it, I have played around with this beat and I turned the tempo up and it sounds better with the faster tempo. I, I will admit, I did, I did do that. I did do that. Chevy Remix is the second best track off this mixtape. Excellent beat. This is one of my all time favorite Wiz songs right here. And again, I listen to this to this very day. But the number one Wiz Khalifa track off of this mixtape is Who I Am. This joint is really smooth. I see why he put this in his Deal No Deal album. This joint is really smooth. Again, I listen to this to this very day. This is another one of my favorite Wiz Khalifa songs. The melody is on point. This is an excellent beat. Now, unfortunately, there's no professional ratings that I could find. But a lot of people, based on datpip.com, really like this mixtape. They really like this mixtape. So, again, there's no professional ratings for this mixtape, unfortunately. So, I can't really give you guys a professional rating. So, what do I think about this mixtape? Okay, I'm not going to beat around the bush here. Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. I thought I saw some ratings, but never mind. But let's get back to my rating. I'm not going to be around the bush here. This is a 5 out of freaking 5. Like, without question, this is a 5 out of freaking 5 right here. You should have this mixtape in your collection. I don't care if it's a digital. Well, at this point, it should be digital. I don't think there's a physical. There could be a physical version of it. Maybe, but it may be bootleg. But either way, Prince of the City 2 should be in your collection. In my opinion, this is the mixtape that put Wiz Khalifa on a map, in my opinion. This joint is straight up fire, but yet, in my opinion, this is not his best mixtape slash album that he ever did. And that's saying a lot, man, but it's up there. It's really, really up there. He came out with a bunch of good stuff, you know, from that point, like Star Power was good, Flight School, Burning After Rolling, and oh my gosh, Kush and Orange Juice. Oh my gosh. 
And if memory serves correctly, I think Cabin Fever was good and Taylor Alderweiss was good as well. But man, that Christian Oranges, I can't review that yet. We got ready another year for that. But yeah, Princess City 2, that is like one of his best mixtapes that he did, one of the best anything that he did, really. And I recommend that you have this in your collection. This is a flat out five out of freaking five. So with all of that said, y'all know who this is. This is your buddy, New Jack Aspie, a.k.a. the new Steve Nate Smith, saying peace out, y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. Yeah.